kick-ass facts, even more experiments. Pew, pew, pew. In January 1986, 11 men went to bed in Moscow and didn't get out of bed for 370 days. They were washed lying down, they ate, read, watched TV, and wrote letters lying down. At the time, it was the simplest method to simulate the effects of weightlessness on Earth. In addition to the medical results, it had unintended consequences. Some marriages did not survive the strain, and one of the men fell in love with a researcher who was working on the project. Each participant had been promised a car as compensation for his efforts. As former cosmonaut and director of the study said, It was still the Soviet era then, and getting a hold of a car wasn't easy. One of the men quit the experiment after three months because he already owned a car. In 1970, Myron Fox delivered a lecture titled, Mathematical Game Theory as Applied to Physician Education. He delivered it at the annual conference of the University of California School of Medicine to a room full of experts. Not only was Myron not an expert who didn't know anything about game theory, he was an actor. He played a veterinarian on an episode of Columbo. The lecture was intentionally full of imprecise information, invented words, and contradictory assertions. The researchers behind the experiment wanted to find out whether a brilliantly delivered lecture could so completely bamboozle a group of experts that they overlooked the fact that the content was nonsense. The answer? A yes, it can. Fake it till you feel it. Content warning on this one for the dog lovers. In 1954, Vladimir Demikhov shocked the world by unveiling a surgically created monstrosity, a two-headed dog. He created the creature in a lab on the outskirts of Moscow by grafting the head, shoulders, and front legs of a puppy onto the neck of a mature German shepherd. The Soviet Union proudly boasted that the dog was proof of their nation's medical preeminence. Over the course of the next 15 years, Demikhov created a total of 20 two-headed dogs. None of them lived very long as they inevitably succumbed to problems of tissue rejection. The record was a month. Demikhov explained that dogs were part of a continuing series of experiments in surgical techniques with his ultimate goal being how to being to learn how to perform a human heart and lung transplant. Continuing the content warning from before. When Demikhov unveiled his two-headed dogs, it inspired a strange kind of surgical arms race between the Soviet Union and the United States. Eager to prove that its surgeons were the best in the world, the American government began funding the work of Robert White, resulting in the world's first successful monkey head transplant. The head transplant occurred on March 14, 1970. It took White and his assistants hours to perform the operation, separating a monkey's head from its body and then reattaching it to a new body. When the monkey woke and found that its body had been switched, it angrily tracked its eyes with White and then snapped at him with his teeth. The monkey survived the day and a half before succumbing to complications from the surgery. White thought he would have been treated like a hero, but the public was appalled by what he had done. He then campaigned to raise support for a human head transplant and even had a volunteer. To date, that has not been performed.